Brilliance Marie here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the benefits of rose oil, how to use rose oil, everything that you need to know about rose oil. A benefits of rose water video is a very popular video and I still get a lot of like questions on there and a lot of interaction. So I decided that I will go ahead and do a video on rose oil because I do use rose oil as well. I do marinate it myself and all that. So I thought this that would be a great second topic to those of you guys that are really interested in roses period when it comes to skincare. Before we jump into that, if you're not subscribed, take a moment and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to thumbs up this video. Um, I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. So make sure you turn on the post notification and you are subscribed so that you don't miss a video. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump into this topic. I do have all my lovely notes here. So we're gonna go ahead first off and jump into what is rose oil. I'm going to show you guys actually a product of mine, Body Care by Eunice. I do hand make my own skincare. Um, the link is down below if you wanna go and check out my Etsy shop. But this is um, my Rose Hip Face Oil. And it does have roses in it. So pretty much rose oil is where you take roses that can be dried or fresh petals and you marinate them in an oil or oils of choice to extract the um, essence and the properties of the oil. Now that is done over like a couple of weeks. I would say let it marinate over a few weeks. The longer it sits, the stronger it gets. So that is what rose oil is. Next one is how to make rose oil, but I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how I make rose oil. But pretty much it's the same thing where you take dry petals or um, fresh petals from a rose and you marinate them in oil of choice. That's how you make it, okay? Same thing with what rose oil is. What are the benefits of rose oil? So rose oil, rose water, roses in general have so many great benefits for the skin. So rose oil is anti-aging, it reduces scarring, it helps um, to clear acne, and it also is great for helping with skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Um, for acne prone skin, you guys know I am acne prone, I gear more towards talking about that. Um, Rose oil is really great for clearing acne and it's really great for soothing the skin. So I like rose oil for that. I like rose water for that. I just feel like it really does make like the redness in my face go down a, a little bit more. And so I just really like rose water as in for the calming or the clearing of the acne um, for my own personal use. But there's so many great benefits for rose water for other skin conditions. I feel like rose water too is really great for all skin types. So if you're dry, it's going to give you hydration. If you're acne prone, it's going to help to soothe or calm. If you have sensitive skin, it's also going to help to soothe and calm. If you have any like um, eczema or psoriasis, it's going to help to um, you know soothe and calm that as well. And it's also anti-aging. So if you want to add something into your regimen that is anti-aging, a rose oil also is something great that can help to reduce um, scarring and to help um, reduce the signs of aging. And lastly is how would you use rose oil? So let's say you bought some rose oil. Let's say you made some rose oil on your own. How you would use is that you would take a few drops of your rose oil. I'm not going to use this one because this one's for um, sale on my shop and I don't want to contaminate it or anything. But how I would use, how you would use rose water is that you would take out, take a few drops. Y'all, I keep saying rose water and I mean rose oil. Sorry. <laughs> so annoying. Drops and you would apply it to either just clean skin bare, that's it, or you could take a few drops and add it over your moisturizer. I like using it both ways, but mostly I like to use it over my moisturizers at night. Um, I feel like it really just boosts the hydration of my moisturizer and it gives my skin like an overnight treat. Um, so when I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels so much like it just feels really soft, it feels really just supple and just hydrated and just feels amazing so those are two simple ways that you can use your rose oil you can also add your rose oil to other things you can put a few drops in your face wash you can put a few drops in your moisturizer you can use it every day you can use it once a week it just really depends on not only your skin type but also like what your skincare concerns are all right so that is all a quick shot about rose oil i definitely will do a how-to video on how to make your own rose oil 
and show you guys how I make my own rose oil. Um, it's not hard at all. It's really easy to do. The only thing about the process is like letting it soak to get the most out of the roses into the oil. It's just the waiting game. But besides that, it's a very um, easy way on how to make your own rose oil. So I will definitely go ahead and leave a link down below to Body Care by Eunice where you can get your hands on some rose hip face oil as well as all links down below and all information on roses and also the benefits of rose water in which I talked about in the previous video so that if you are someone who is obsessed with roses like me for skincare you can go ahead and get all the information that you need but with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching this is your girl Eunice Marie make sure to break comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I will see you in a next video